Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today I'm going to make safety collars for my goats. Okay, so what I have here is three dog collars. Now, goats may have big heads, but they have narrow necks. Now, this is adjustable. Now, what I'm doing is, is I have these bells from the craft section. Now, I don't need anything really, really loud. I just need something that in the night, if a raccoon comes in and a goat lifts its head, it's going to make just enough noise to scare things, okay? Because animals don't make these unnatural noises. So, I've got two big ones. These are for mocha, three medium-sized ones for sugar, and four smaller ones for spice. And we've got zip ties. They'll startle things. So I'm gonna put them through the, the zip tie through the leash holder. And I'm going to leave enough of a loop so that they'll hang, but they're not, if this isn't gonna easily hook on something and break, okay? Just like that. And we'll just snip this off. Now, the reason I use these collars is they're strong enough that uh, the goats can't like deliberately break them unless they really, really try. But if they hook them on barbed wire, not that we have any or anything like that, um, these are those quick release snaps. All right, so there is Mocha's collar, and there we go. Sugar, spice, and mocha. Let's go to the barn and put these on our girls. Come here, mocha. Easy. This is why we want to do this, folks. We want to get them used to being gentled. See, their necks are really small. You can adjust that. I know, but it's not going to come off her head. I don't want it to be too loose or too tight. Do you want right? to check her belly or anything while I got oh, her? Oh, yeah. Do look at this. She's, look out, sugar. Let me see. Oh, yeah, she's got a little pot there. And yes, she's definitely pregnant. Yes, she's, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, it's okay, baby. This They're going to want to brush once the stanchion's done. Are you watching what you're recording? Not really. You get what you're getting. Come here, sugar. Come here. That's spice. Spice. Good girl. That's a little hoof or something pushing. Yeah, she's pregnant. Come here, sugar. Come here. You just stay there, dear. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. You're going to have to have me hold her. No, I got her. I got her. You can do it with one hand. Yeah. No, I can do it with two. No, Howie, I've learned how to corner goats before. And there's Sugar's collar. Come on, baby. Let me see your belly. She's the one who may have gotten caught last. But she's got a little paunch there. So. And there they are. Sugar, spice, and mocha. They're going to check each other's collars out now. <laughs> what collar did you get? My bells are bigger than yours. Oh, yours are the medium-sized bells. Yeah, well, you only have two bells, but I have four. Hey, Spice. Do you my mom? Yes. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Yes. And Mommy, oh, yeah, she, they're all dropping some. She looks like she's the... She's the uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. Well, we'll know in a few weeks, won't we, girls? Daddy's going to build you a milking stand, and then we're going to start giving you treats. We're going to start giving you treats. Yes. Treats. And then Mommy's going to brush you and get that winter coat out, and you're going to, by the time you have babies, you're going to love being brushed and on the milk stand. Oh, that's very nice. That's very nice. Well, thank you for your help, Papa, as usual. Oh my goodness, look at you, Red. Aren't you a handsome boy? 
Oh, look at that. He's huge. So there's our two Royal Calm Narragansett Cross hens and our two Bourbon Red hens, Ruby and Rosie. And oh, look at you. This is the Miss Wolfie from the barn on our half acre homestead saying the goats have been tagged. <laughs>